Okay. So the exercise we often do um, between movements, between the, the physical practices, if you like, or the energetic and physical practices, we then come into a pose and sit, like we've just done. Um, that's called um, following sensation. Kind of says what it does on the tin. We make contact and we relax. Um, it's the fourth exercise or the fourth numbered exercise in the book. Um, the one that follows it is called expanding feeling. So it's taking the feeling we've got in the body and, and letting it grow even more. Um, and it suggests you practice it initially with an image, um, a kind of joyous sensation or memory. Um, the one I come back to time and time again, just to give you an example, is I have a very vague memory of being a little boy. It's about the only memory I've got from that age of four or five or five or six, I don't know. Um, and just sitting in my grandfather's brand new wheelbarrow. Um, he had a massive garden. I think he had a market garden as well. Um, and just sitting in that and then being picked up and wheeled around very fast in it. And the kind of exhilaration of that. It's kind of the memory of cycling down a lane very fast on a bike with your legs out, screaming at the wind or um, that sort of thing, tobogganing or... Um, but it can be anything. It could be the memory of walking in a park or walking by a river or, or your first kiss. It could be anything that has a, a sensual quality to it, uh, something that heats you up a little bit. So it could be any kind of gleeful memory. It could be recent. It can be in the past. It can even be made up. It doesn't have to be real. Our imaginations are quite wonderful things. Um, so you need to, as we do this practice, um, or prior to doing this practice, just sort of have something in mind that you can tap into. So you might want to take a moment just to rack your brain or just um, sort through your memory bank a second. It could be recent um, or it could be longer ago. It could even be just a walk in beautiful countryside or a view or a sunrise or a sunset. Everybody got something? Good. Okay. Um, bring yourself to a comfortable sitting then. Doesn't have to be formally, formally upright, but comfortable-ish. It could also be done lying down, but you probably find you may well drift off if you lie down. And the exercise says sit very quietly. So there's a, there's a gentleness to the posture, kind of in a quiet. And then breathing gently, smoothly and evenly. Nose and mouth. And then just think about that wonderful memory. Can you let it become very real for a moment? Very vivid. Perhaps you remember one of the happiest times in your childhood. Or maybe a first love or a beautiful natural place with fields and a river, something along those lines. How do you feel? Can you tap into and create the positive energy of this exquisite memory?
allow yourself to feel it a little more. Even expand it a little, let it grow. Maybe you breathe a little higher in the body with that exhilaration. You can close the eyes if you want, but just feel that rising tide of excitement, that exhilaration. Really feel it bodily. Let it feed you. Let it build. As the feeling of the memory builds, the memory itself might well fade away and that's okay. But can you keep the sensation growing, the sensation bubbling? So you've got the feeling tone of the experience, but without any need to hold on to the experience. Expand the sensations with the body. So they become interpenetrating. You may even not be sure if they're in the physical body or around you. No great boundaries to the sensations. Just keep expanding the feeling even several inches, several centimeters outside the body. As if you were the epicenter of feeling, but it emanates outwards. Infinite ripples and layers. Textures of feeling unfolding. And then we play with it. So can you slowly draw the feeling back till it just touches the edges of the body? You can almost feel it and see it physically. That sense of feeling and energy can almost cleanse the body or freshen the body up. that soft nose and mouth breathing and let the feeling circulate. The exercise suggests we expand it again and that you play between allowing it to get bigger and bigger and then just drawing it back into the body. So play with that, allowing the feeling to open up and radiate beyond the physical body, beyond you boundaries out into space around you. Almost like a perfume of feeling emanating from you. Like the scent of a flower.
And then you draw it back into your edges, into your shape, your form. And let it feed you and cleanse you. Nourish the cells and tissues and the energy of your body. Do that once more for yourself, expanding and condensing, allowing feeling to grow and then drawing it back in. It almost feeds your senses. richness, a deliciousness, a tasting of sensation and feeling. And then digesting and nourishing. Eventually, any imagery, any work, any process can fade away and you simply sit in the energy, feeling and space of the body. 
Just be for a moment. The last paragraph of the text for this practice says, if you do this exercise, whenever you have a beautiful idea or an image or a feeling, whenever your sensory awareness is stimulated, your awareness will become developed in a finer and more substantial way. So you can do it with anything and you can do it quite quickly. Um, I found myself doing it with lines of text recently, um, lines from poetry and that sort of thing, just almost spontaneously. They have a feeling tone to them. And you kind of let that feed you, let it build for a moment and then let the feeling nourish you. Um, you can do it with a vase of flowers. Um, you might do it with a sunset. You can even do subtle feelings, just watching clouds go by or just your hands in water while you're washing up. There's a feeling component to it you can actually take in. Um, and you may find that you, over time, develop little qualities of feeling. Um, in the same way that smells might be resonant of certain emotions. Um, certain feeling tones are useful to tap into. You might have just a little little um, apothecary of feelings you can tap into, like being wheeled on the wheelbarrow is what I come back to quite frequently. Um, or cycling very fast downhill, that sort of feeling. You can have a bodily memory of a sense, sensory memory of, if you like. Um, it can be anything really that stirs you. And then the memory itself will fade, but the feeling stays with you. And you can then use that as a, as a practice. Good luck. <laughs>